the dulcimer is, is a traditional instrument and there are builders who are very stringent on making sure that it's, it's truly traditional, that you wouldn't have a metal tuner on it, that it would all be wooden pegs and in a, in a wood peg box. And um, I actually think that my instrument probably is traditional. But from the little bits and pieces I've heard about the builders and how innovative they were, the early builders, um, I don't think I'm any different than they are because they, they'd use fence wire or staples or whatever they could find to get the job done. And, and that's really all that I'm doing is trying to um, get the job done and do it well so that it fits the needs of the people that want to make music. And um, actually, my, the greatest pleasure in my instruments for me is not my playing them, but hearing them played by other people. And um, one of my uh, greatest um, discoveries recently was a, or maybe I should say someone who discovered me was an Australian performer who just uh, did a CD that, um, cut a CD and used one of my instruments. And, you know, from all the way over in Australia, it's, it's interesting that a traditional instrument from the Americas has, has traveled that far now and is, is being used for traditional music. And it is very traditional sounding and it's got the old Appalachian sound to it. But he's using an instrument which some people would say has very little tradition in it. But, you know, it, it, it has that tradition with it. Um, so I, I don't think I'm, I think I'm just another guy from the hills trying to do the best job on a dulcimer he can do. I don't, I'm not sure I'm really, really am different. Just a different time and place, different materials. <laughs>